Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, we will look at one of the reasons for e-invoice system to reject the voucher that you upload for IRN generation. We will also learn the steps to make corrections in such a voucher and generate e-invoice. The voucher that you upload to e-invoice system should contain all the mandatory information. The unavailability of any one of these mandatory details results in the system rejecting the voucher. This happens even when unit quantity code or UQC is not available in the unit of the stock item. You will see the reason for rejection as the field unit must be a string with a minimum length of 3 and a maximum length of 8 in the e-invoice report. To overcome this issue, you have to select a stock item with UQC in the voucher for the system to generate e-invoice. Let us first see the reason for rejection by the e-invoice system. This business uses a stock item master for services expense. Since it is a service, they do not select unit of measurement. UQC is a mandatory information that is taken from unit for all stock items in e-invoice. Now when they save the voucher and upload the it to the e-invoice system, the voucher is rejected. You can see the reason for rejection in the e-invoice report. Now let's see how to resolve this issue and generate the e-invoice for the voucher. You can create a new stock item for the service and select the unit. Ensure the unit you select has UQC. If you are not sure about which UQC to select in the unit, you can choose others. In the voucher that was rejected, place the cursor in field of the stock item master that does not have UQC. Press Alt plus C to create a item master. In the stock item creation screen, enter the item name and select the unit. If you do not have a unit, press Alt plus C or press enter on create in the list of units. Create a unit for the item, select a UQC. If you are unsure of the type of unit, select others. Save the unit master. In the stock item screen, enter the SAC details of the service. Select type of supply as service. Press Ctrl plus A to save the service item. The service item you just created is selected in the voucher. Press Enter. Set the option provide e-invoice details to yes. Save the details shown. Save the voucher and send it for e-invoice generation. Now that UQC is present in the service item master, the voucher is approved and e-invoice is successfully generated. As you can see it is very easy to resolve the rejections caused by missing UQC details in stock item and generate e-invoice in Tally Prime 3.0. Thank you.